good man. It's the morning time. It's the morning time. You up, Papa? Huh? You up yet? Oh, look at you just laying there like a good boy. You just laying there quiet like a good boy? Huh? You are? <laughs> hey, sweetie pie. You're sitting up when you change the table with Yoda? Huh? Hello, your bunny rabbit. Say hi to your Dolly family, baby. Say hi to your Dolly family. What you looking at? You looking outside? You look so pretty. You still look so pretty. So, guys, I named her Kayari Kendrick. So, that's her new name, Kayari, but I call her Sweetie Pie because she's such a sweetie pie. Look at that face. <laughs> Kayari. <laughs> hey, doll family. Spring flower here, and I'm back with my little Makise. Say hi, Makise. Say hello, Dolly family. Oh, my goodness, guys. I am... I'm still just taking with this baby. I'm probably going to be taking with him for a very long time. He is just the bomb.com. Any baby. So I'm here to do a details video and just have a little chat. And um, yeah, so I want to show you my kisa, you guys. He is a fabulous baby. So I am going to undress him. I'm going to undress him first. They can see everything about him. And one of the and one of the main reasons why I am so overjoyed with this little baby boy. He is amazing. He really is. And I just want to share a little details with you of him. I have been it's Monday now and I've pretty much spent, you know, my whole weekend with this baby. And her at him in my house. He's been in the little car seat i've been carrying him everywhere with me around the house and my my sons have been laughing they're like mama you're just you're on to this one i'm like yep <laughs> and um, my daughter got to meet him on saturday and she's just as taken she had the same reaction that i had and she just can't believe this boy she just can't believe him like like is he not real mama i'm like he is a real boy girl this is a real boy right here <laughs> so guys i'm going to strip him right down bare naked i'm not you know worrying about his little private parts and stuff he is a doll and i just want to show the artistry of this doll in its completion so if anybody has issues with that or stupid youtube hopefully they won't it's a hill doll and yeah, I just want to show you the artistry of this doll. Like, he is amazing. So, this is him and his full Monty. <laughs> and his Sergi Poo. So, this is my Sergi Poo, guys. I'm going to bring the camera down so you can check him right, right out. Hold on a minute. We'll start with his beautiful, lovely, gorgeous face and his wonderful, gorgeous, beautiful head up here. His hair is so beautiful, you guys. Look at how it's rooted. It's, ugh, it's just... It's just realistic. It's just uber, super, hyper realistic. Like, this baby is hyper realism. Like, beautiful eyes, beautiful eyelashes. He has wonderful textured skin. Has been painted so beautifully. So, so beautifully. His ears. Oh, my goodness. The way how they are. It's just, it's just real. He looks real behind his ears. He just looks like a real baby, you guys. He just really does. Everything about him just looks like a real baby. And, of course, I, mean, I just want to show you inside his mouth. He has gums and he has a tongue. And that's another thing that just completely fascinates me about this doll with his gums and his tongue. And the way how it's painted on the inside of his mouth just looks so, 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 so real. His skin colors, all the little blotchiness. It's just reminiscent of a real baby. All his little rills in his neck and everything. Ugh. The fact that he has, um, hold on, the fact that, take my thing out of me, the fact that he has armpits, you guys, like, he has armpits, <laughs> he has armpits, what's on his armpits, <laughs> that's probably from his clothes, the piece of lint, but y'all yeah, guys, and look, his chest, and his belly, it's just like a real baby, and his belly button, and everything, you guys, his hands look at his hands you guys look at his fingertips just like a real baby just like a real baby's fingertips oh my goodness he is so fantastic oh his little veins hope you guys could see 
his little veining and stuff. He is just like, wow. Look at that. His little thumb. And his skin, it just feels like real skin. I just, it's hard to explain because I know people probably think that is an overreaction. Like, I like really like that. But honestly, you guys, it really honestly is. He is really like a real baby. All his little rolls and everything. And then his little rolls and his legs and his little penis and stuff. Like, she coughed everything out. The baby is coughed out like a real baby. And I think that is absolutely amazing. These door artists are just something else. His little totes and everything it's like a real baby he is completely like a real little boy and i love that about him i love all of that about him he's just fantastic absolutely fantastic little ankles everything has been carved out it's just something it's just fascinating completely fascinating so let me turn him over hold on a moment guys the back of his neck and look it's like he's got his little spine and it's so squishy and nice and he wrinkles is so like a real baby His little tush he is so much like a real baby it's crazy and this is what the fascination is all about you can't help but handle this boy like a real baby you just can't help you just want to do it you just want to keep him in that realm in that space a real baby is <laughs> so doesn't he look great guys i just wanted to really give you a really good look of the fascination just the fascination of this boy he has been in my arms all weekend this little thing has been in my arms all week and you guys has been in my arms all weekend haven't you little sad you poo yes she have y'all been in mama's arms all weekend because you're beautiful i can't get over you <laughs> so okay guys, guys i'm back. back and my little sad you poo and I am going to dress him. I'm going to put this cute little diaper on him. And I'm going to put on this cute little outfit that, that he came with. And um, let him relax. Let his toes and his arms be out and everything like that. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you his whole complete body. And show you the artistry of this baby. And how magnificent he is. His one magnificent, gorgeous baby doll like he is he's amazing he really is and if you want like you know his his really 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 beautiful for the feel of a real baby honestly if that's what you're looking for if you're looking for realism and you feel of a real baby you really cannot go wrong with a claire taylor baby and that's just facts nothing more nothing less it's just facts and this doesn't put any shade on any other dolls. You know, I love all the dolls in my collection. Every single one of them. And I love all the doll artists and everything. But um, I'm saying all that to say is that, yes, these dolls are pretty expensive. But they are worth every single penny. And it's a reason. You know, it's just top-notch art. So you're going to have to pay for that. You know, and that's that's basically what it is. You know? So, um, I feel that he's so beautifully painted. I just had to reach out to the artist, which is Paula Briggs by Boohoo Nursery. I mean, Paula Briggs of Boohoo Nursery. I had to just, I had to reach out to her and just send her a nice message and just let her know how much I love her work and appreciate her work because I've seen it um, on videos. People in the community have, that have those that have been painted and rooted by her. And, um, you know, I've seen them in pictures, but you have not in real life is another is a different experience again and i just had to express that to her and she is so grateful she said it made her day you know but i really just did because i'm like oh my gosh i just wanted to let her know like i'm like i have one of your babies and he is phenomenal you know he is so phenomenal and i can tell by the way how this baby is put together the way how he is painted um she loves what she does she clearly loves what she does this is going past like oh, i'm doing it to make money she loves what she does. Like, I can see it. I can tell. And she said that she really does love what she does. And she said she really does paint from the heart. No two babies will ever look the same because she paints from her heart. Like, she looks at her, you know, got the babies. And she, she paints, she sees them and paints from her heart, you know. So, I really admire and appreciate that. And I can tell. I can tell by the way how little, my little Makise is, you know. So, yeah, that's what it's all about, guys. So it's definitely going to be... Like I said, a capital baby in my collection and it's definitely going to be, um, you know, a baby that you guys will probably see a lot of. Um, 
yeah, that's just, that's how it's going to be. You know, <laughs> that's how it's going to be. And which brings me to my little chat topic that I wanted to have with you guys. Um, um, someone in my comments, my dear friend, was like, so, okay, are you going to, now that you have your dream baby, basically ask me, now that I have my dream baby, am I going to ignore all my other babies? <laughs> Am I gonna be like some other collectors and ignore all my other babies now that I have a clear tailor baby? And the short answer to that is no way. <laughs> I'm not gonna ignore all my other babies. It's not gonna be where you don't ever see any of my other dolls again. It's gonna be pretty much the same. You know, you don't see all my dolls all the time. You know, like that. It's just whoever I feel like playing with, um, that's who I'm gonna play with. And whoever I feel like sharing on camera, that's what I'm going to show on camera. Like how I've been doing all this time. That's how it's going to be. But Sage right now. My little Marquise Sage right now. You know he's brand new. You know that he's definitely. He's, he's most definitely a dream doll for me. I wanted him from day one. I wanted a Claire Taylor baby from the minute I learned about these beautiful dolls. I pretty much wanted one. You know I admired them. And saw how beautiful they were. And, um, you know, I had started following her page, her YouTube channel and everything, and followed her, her, um, her Facebook page and all of that. And wherever I can follow, I have, I have a website, all of that, because I love her dolls. Sometimes I just go and look at them, you know, and that's what I've been doing. So having him in my collection is, a, it, as a doll collector, he is... Like a Fabergé egg, if not better. You know what I mean? It's just top-notch art. His top-notch art and a top-notch baby in my collection. Um, and you will see a lot of him. Look how cute he looks in this outfit, you guys. It's like perfection. He looks so cute, baby. This color looks good on you, Stink. Yes, this color looks good on you, Puffy. Yes, it does. That's my little Batman. I've been calling him, I've been calling him my little Batman because I put on that little... um. Batman onesie and socks. So I've been calling him my little Batman. Just, you know, sometimes they start calling your baby something that sticks. So I've been calling him my little Batman. Because I love Batman. Batman's cool, you know. I like all the Marvel comics and all that too. I'm a big kid, you guys. I'm going to tell you. I'm a little kid. I'm a little kid. <laughs> I really honestly am. So this is my little Batman. And your tay -tay, I'm going to leave your tay -tays out. Yes, I am. I'm not going to put no socks on you. I'm going to leave this tay -tays out. Yes, he is. He smiles, you guys. He totally smiles. <laughs> Come on, Papa. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, he's had so much kisses this weekend. He's probably saying, Mama, stop kissing me. You guys, I didn't put no lip gloss on at all this weekend because I just want to keep kissing my baby. Yes, I did. I want to keep kissing up and loving up my little book. Look. Yes. <laughs> I want to keep kissing up and loving up my little book, looky look, <laughs> my little Batman. But y'all yeah, guys, so um, you will definitely see a lot of this guy, and sometimes you might not see him at all because I am his just get his his part of the fabric of my life now. So I'm always gonna play with him all the time until I until I don't, you know. Um, and especially since it's. A very new guy. You can probably see a lot of him. I still have to do drink and rap with him. And I want to share that with you guys. You know, because I haven't tried out his drink and rap system yet. Which is one of the things that I'm super excited about. Because I am a doll mommy. I'm not just a doll collector. I'm a mommy. So I'm got to beat you and you're gonna beat me. <laughs> I like all that, guys. Like, I'm super excited. But also, guys, I just wanted to give a big thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold on. So, also, guys, I'm back. And I'm going to really look at my lefty way he way he curls in my arms, you guys. Hey, it's okay, so cute, man. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, I just want to come and say a big, 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 big thank you to all you guys for all your wonderful comments on both of my babies, him and her. And um, as you saw in my video, I named her Kayari. Kayari Kendrick. So, that's her new name, but I call her Sweetie Pie. Because I, yeah, I can't help but look at her and say, hey, sweetie pie. Because she just looks like a sweetie pie to me. So that's her nickname. But her name is Kayari Kendrick. That's her name. And um, yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for all of your 
wonderful comments i mean i got so many beautiful comments you guys and just thank you for sharing in my joy with this baby like with this with this dream baby of mine just thank you for sharing in my in my joy um i got dms and messages and everything and you guys are so happy for me and i'm so happy that like i said before that i have a community to share this with because it's so much fun like even though i could play by myself and have a lot of fun playing by myself with my dogs and everything it's always a lot of fun to have friends to share this with and to talk to about this and i have one friend in particular um with this particular baby right here i kind of shared my journey with of me getting you know putting down my down payment and talked about it, it was really nice to have somebody to bounce things off with so thank you so much to that friend and um just friends that i had that i was just able to chat with and stuff and even chat with you guys like i said after the fact like i said so many different messages came to me where people are just um congratulating me and saying how happy they they are for me that i got my dream baby and um i i'm just i'm just overwhelmed and i'm just so grateful and again that's what the community is about and thank you so much over to tasha over there pixie mommy that made a whole video just talking about you know um the excitement of me receiving my first claire taylor baby and um i that was very touching uh thank you so much for doing that that was so 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 very nice um, of you to do that and it's this is what I'm talking about like just sharing these kinds of experiences it's just the best you know having this YouTube channel you know we're all her we're all adult collectors so of course having the YouTube channel with her to have a good time and have fun and also talk about real stuff and share our experiences and stuff like that you know so it's it's really it's really a joyous place you know and I still hold out a hope and a dream that um you know once things calm down the world hopefully it calms down sooner rather than later that i will get to actually meet some of you guys in person fortunately i have met some of you through going through the world social in 2019 but i definitely would love to meet some of you again um in person and meet some of you new guys in person like it would be amazing to me to be able to do that and um be able to go to another door show and everything and um yeah it's just it's just exciting you guys it's just super excited and this baby having this baby in my collection is super super excited for me i feel like my complex my collection is complete i honestly honestly do between having him and her i feel like my dual collection is complete i really really do you know i'm looking around my nursery right now and i have doors of all ends high and low you know and i just feel like my collection is complete and i love every single one of my dolls here they were collected with so much love and even those that were gifted to me is that all of that to me it was just done in pure love and my collection is pretty much complete i'm not saying that i'm not going to collect another doll again because if i say that i'll be totally lying but what i am saying is that now with my collecting journey um it's just it will be extras you know it'll really be extras it's not a baby out there at this moment that oh my gosh i would have to have like i would love to have other babies you know but i don't have to have other babies if you understand what i'm saying i feel like i'm completed i feel like i'm complete i honestly feel you complete me <laughs> i feel like this baby complete completes me you know and even her you know because i didn't even think that i would ever be able to get a masterpiece doll that's a black doll because you see them so much that white dolls they mainly come white right and you only see the black ones here far and few in between so even having her a masterpiece bull drink to tell the doll like my dakota which is my louisa child doll and my lewis my lewis child doll from um from ashton Gallerist. galleries um from the time I got to cut, I'm like, oh my gosh, I would love to have an African-American, as some people say, or a black doll, as how I say, you know, what, either black or white, you know, um, like that. So having her is just, oh my goodness, I'm so grateful for both of these babies. And of course, having him, oh my gosh, you guys, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this boy, this precious little snook, you guys. He is my snooky snook snooks. <laughs> he just feels like he just feels like I have a I, I feel like I'm healing my new, one of my newborn babies. I honestly feel like 
um, hurling a newborn baby. And as a person that loves babies and loves children, you know, I've said before that, you know, I was actually a child care provider. I was a nanny. That's what the, the time that I actually did go to school. That's what I went to school for, you know, to, to, to really put my energy into doing the best I can to look after little ones. You know, I've always been fascinated by little babies, you know, and um, this hobby and, and having these caliber of dolls is just, wow. I was sitting here thinking, like, as a child, you say, I, w I say to myself, I look around this collection and I'm like, oh my God, if I had this sort of collection as a child, I probably would still have these dolls. I just probably, because they're so fantastic, like, every doll is like, oh my goodness, you know, to have these dolls. In my nursery right now and having this whole doll nursery so i feel very grateful i don't take any of it for granted i don't take any of it as oh well whatever i don't take any of it like that lightly i feel really really grateful and that's why i concentrate on like having the community a happy place because dolls and doll collecting if that's what you love to do it's supposed to be a joyful thing it should never be bringing heartache and and, and stress it should never be doing that you know being in this hobby should never be bringing heartache and stress and pain. And I know for some people, they have experienced that due to, you know, situations and stuff. So, um, you know, I've had my little boat with a very small one, very tiny one. But I've had, you know, because you're going to deal with people. I mean, you're dealing with people, not everybody's a nice person. But I digress. It should just never be that, you know, so... For me and my nursery, when I look around my nursery, it just is exciting to me. And when I go into you all's nurseries and when you guys have got your doors, it's exciting to me. I love to see people enjoying what they love, you know. And um, I, he is, it's everything. It's everything. And no, yes, you will see. You will still see my other babies and everything like that. You definitely will. Even you're even gonna still see my Palame powder, my little powder pop. You know, my little Ivita baby. You're gonna still see her too, cause I love her too. It's just that this one right here, he's special. He's just a special boy, you know. And there's no other way to put it. He's a special baby boy, you know. And I will play with him quite often. <laughs> quite a lot <laughs> but yes guys so i just want to share that with you guys and again say thank you to all of you i've read every comment i've replied to some i haven't replied to all of them but i've read them all you guys and i am just overwhelmed with um just the joy and happiness that you guys have with me you know and for me and i really really appreciate that you know i really honestly do i really do you know it's it's it's, it's makes it even more hype you know it makes it even more exciting to to do all of this you know it really really does and just being in the community and having fun with our babies so yeah guys this is my little makise sage and he's got on his little full outfit today he looks so cute in it got on his little full outfit so the next time i bring makise on i'm probably gonna do a little drink and wrap with him um i'm gonna take some pictures of him in his little outfit i really love it it's like a terry cloth it's like a little terry cloth but i love the color and the color looks so good on him <laughs> he's so special yes you are so he's been in my bed like i had a meeting yesterday i put him in the pumpkin chair i put him down in the living room with me you know and everybody's fascinated all my children like they're like wow i can't believe it my daughter's like oh my gosh mommy you really can't help but treat him like a real baby the way how you pick him up the way how you hold him and you just got to be so gentle you know you just want to be gentle with him because he's a good little baby <laughs> but yes guys so he just wants to come on and chat and say thank you and show all his details and um yeah just have some fun with my dolls. So it's a work day for me. So I'm not going to stay home too much longer. Got to get back into my business. And I will talk to you later. I love you, Dolly family. And remember, it's your dolls your way. Bye-bye. Say bye, Makise. Say bye, Kise. Say bye, Dolly family. Say bye-bye. <laughs>